My name is Jennifer Smith, and I proudly serve as chairwoman of the Salute to Women team. May I have all the Salute to Women team members stand as we give them a round of applause. Next, we would like to welcome our provost, Dr. Laura Chesley, Lori, sorry, Lori Chesley to the stage. Good afternoon. I am here because I love this event, and I am also here because on behalf of President Pink, I want to give you an official GRCC welcome to the 21st annual Salute to Women, one of the best events on this campus. Um, it, it truly is one of my favorites. It is often, uh, there are some folks here I tend to see about once a year at this event, so I always look forward to it. And some of the folks I'm always happiest to meet are some of the former honorees um, who've received this wonderful award. So I want to take a minute and ask anyone out there who is a former honoree, please stand and let us recognize you. I know you are out there. Yes. And now I know where to find you later. Um, this is one of the most inspiring events, at least in my opinion, on our calendar. Um, it's an event that I take um, a lot of personal inspiration from because I've had the great opportunity to work with many of the honorees um, and to learn a great deal from them. So let me say to you, folks like Tina Hoxie and Kathy Mullins and Carol Redwine, you have inspired me over the years, and I truly, truly appreciate that. And I just want everyone to get ready to be inspired because this is going to be an awesome group of women that you're going to meet today. Welcome. As our new Chief Equity and Inclusion Officer, Dr. B. Afina McNeely Cobham makes her way to the podium, I would like to recognize any previous or current Board of Trustee members. I helped her down, she helped me up. That's how you do it, right? Good afternoon. Jennifer was timid when she said my name. My name is B. Afina McNeely Cobham. You got to say it with power, right? And I am delighted. Uh, as of April 3rd coming up, I would have served as your Chief Equity and Inclusion Officer for four months. <laughs> it, thank you. It is my pleasure to be able to acknowledge all of our nominees and then also share with you who the actual award recipients are. Before doing that, I want to take full responsibility so you can either be thankful or mad at me about the change in format this year. I had the pleasure to serve on the committee, and as we were deliberating, I noticed that the things written about all of our nominees were so laudable and worthy of recognition, I said one or two things. We either need to have more than one person receive the award, or we honor all of them. In your booklet are excerpts, excerpts from the nominations. And so while we won't be reading those as a part of the program, you have that to know the wonderful things that people said about our nominees. So moving forward, or at least under my leadership, we will continue to honor all nominees who are selected for Salute to Women to make sure that they can role model for other students, faculty, and staff, the aptitude of service leadership, because that's what this is about. Sure, you can win an award, but it's the humility of continuing to serve after you even receive that accomplishment. 
So moving forward, that's sort of where we stand. And to culminate that paradigm, I uh, found a poem that I'd like to share with the group. So I'm going to switch into my poem hat, right? It's by a person named Peggy, just one name. I lead, I make it happen. I am a goddess warrior. I inspire others to believe in their power and purpose. I decide who I am and what I can be, do, and have. I am a woman. I give birth to ideas, solutions, to a culture of growth, and to people. I grow people to be their best. I influence decisions. I make decisions. I impact future generations. I lead. I inspire. I make it happen. I am able to respond. I am able to love. I am a goddess warrior. Don't mess with me or my sister goddesses, cause we make it happen. <laughs> On behalf of the 2019 selection committee, we salute all our nominees and I'm going to ask each one of them to stand one by one and ask that you hold your applause until everyone is standing who was present at today's ceremony. Miss Sarah Brooks, Miss Carrie Davis, hold your applause. <laughs> this is like graduation, uh-oh. <laughs> Sonia M. Hernandez, working on my R's. Luba Patras. Victoria Powers. Mandy Booz. Magdalena Montez Spruitt. It's over here for those who can't see. Leslie Boss. Stephanie Mendez Ortega. And Judith Kainz. Did I say it right? Keenitz, sorry, get that on record. Keenitz. Please give them a round of applause. Thank you, you may be seated. In moving the program along, Jennifer, please help me. The award recipient for GRCC former employee is Judith Keenitz. Anyone here to represent her? Yes, please. Obviously, I'm not Judith Keenitz, but I did nominate her. And due to um, personal issues, she is not here today. But I'm representing her, and I thought I would give you a few comments as to why I represented her. I was very pleased to do that. She was an exemplary teacher in the <coughs> liberal arts department. Above all, her students' learning and success were foremost in her teaching career. She began her career at Grand Rapids Community College, which was then, of course, Grand Rapids, Commun Grand Rapids Junior College, by establishing the Handicapped Learning Center as her first assignment when she came here in 1977. An appropriate assignment for her for her caring for all students. She established many services and many programs uh, during her four years in that assignment. She then joined the faculty in the language arts department as a dean in two different areas. I never received any bad praise, only praise for Judith. As I earlier stated, her students were her passion. She retired in 2003 and remained an avid supporter of Grand Rapids Community College. She remained 
she was a mentor to many women and encouraged them to follow their dreams and sometimes take risk. Janet Pache, uh, the uh, chair of the language arts department, highly supports Judith's recommendation. She was very capable in her primary concern and passion for her students. She also found many new ways to motivate them and to assist them in whatever their needs may be. Marceletta, who is a current faculty, also highly recommended Judith for this award. She was a caring person and always went the extra mile to be sure her students were successful. She was an innovative professor and could make learning interesting and fun. She was always available for her students. Her female students often sought her out for advice. And I thought that was something nice to be mentioned since we're doing the salute to women, that she was a very positive role model for women. Um, thank you, and I'm very pleased to nominate Judith Keenitz. Thank you. The recipient of the GRCC Student Award goes to Leslie Boss. Okay, those of you who know me, I don't really like bringing focus on myself. <laughs> um, but I just wanted to say that when I started at GRCC, my goal was to just get in and get out and get a degree. I didn't think that I would have gained so much more than just working towards that degree. I've gained not only experiences, but I've gained mentors, I've gained friends, I've gained family. So much of you have helped me along the way and have played an integral part in me completing my education. Um, a lot of the people that have asked to be here, it's just crazy because being a non-traditional student, I've had my nephew who has helped tutor me in math. Um, so that's always just interesting. Um, and I wouldn't be here right now if it wasn't for all the support from so many of you in this room, just being able to connect lend an ear when I'm not sure I can make it through another semester because I have three kids and work part-time and so much going on. But um, thank you to the committee who chose me and everybody, my friends and family and my husband who's been a good support in helping take care of the kids and my two kids that are here and my one that didn't make it. So <laughs> thank you. Continuing, our recipient of the GRCC Alumna Award goes to Magdalena Montez Spruit. Already, I didn't plan a speech. <laughs> I'm just really honored that um, that um, I was even nominated for this. So um, I, I'm not one to speak either, but um, I'm really honored that I was nominated for this. I really enjoy my job. This has been the best job that I've ever had all my life. Um, I really, truly enjoy coming to school and working with all the students. The best part is um, when they move forward and they come back and tell us their stories on where they're, where they're going and where they've been. 
um, and some of them let us know that we got them there, that we helped them along. Um, Leslie is one of our TRIO students, and um, I'm very happy. She also got selected to go study abroad at the Netherlands. Um, so I think that our group is really doing great, and I don't see this just for myself, an award for myself. I see this as an award for my whole team. Um, most of us are all women. Uh, Fred Zomer just um, joined the TRIO program, but he is part of our team as well, so this, is, this award is for him as well, too. So <laughs> not just for me, it's for all of our group, but I'm really honored that, um, that I made it this far. So thank you. <laughs> And for our final award for that uh, afternoon, GRCC employee, Miss Sarah Brooks. <laughs> I promised her she could come up here. <laughs> oh, well. So uh, a few weeks ago, my dad asked me if I had written my speech. And I was like, oh, I don't think I'm going to win. And he was like, you better write that speech. <laughs> so here it is. So I was raised in a Baptist home where I was taught about integrity and taught that everything I do should be done as unto God. So I've lived out that mantra in my professional career. I do not work hard for accolades, but I do enjoy them. Um, I work hard to make a lasting impact on the people who I encounter as a human developer. And um, so when I think back over my life, I can name many people who taught me, um, loved me, supported me, or even offered me valuable life lessons that didn't always feel so good. Um, and I'm thankful to be a chosen vessel to develop other human beings. Um, an idea that really is quite scary for me at times because I know how much of a mess I am behind this smile. So I would like to thank the people who nominated me for this award. I, I think she's had enough, okay. I'd like to thank the people who nominated me for this award, my student mentees, Elijah Lewis and Kamaya Gori, um, who both sat through a semester of my classes and decided that that wasn't enough, they needed more of me. Um, <laughs> I'd like to thank my husband, who is supportive of all of my professional aspirations and who is quite okay with holding up our family while I'm out doing community events, meetings, and running around doing all this other stuff. Um, thank you, babe. I'd like to thank my parents, who are not here, my father and my bonus mom, who taught me um, a great work ethic and hammered home integrity and doing what is right. Um, and my late mother, who taught me how to be a rebel with a cause. I think I'm a good mix of the both. Um, I would like to thank my elementary school principal, Merle Smith, because you know this is going on social media. Um, look him up, look him up, um, for being such an extraordinary educator, leader, and person. He's the one who cemented the idea that college wasn't an option for me. Um, he guided my trajectory for leadership and um, kept his promise from the sixth grade that if I was gonna go to college, he would provide a scholarship for me. Um, and he planted the seed that is now the cornerstone of my work, this belief that all students can achieve. So I'd like to thank my colleagues who have helped shape who I am professionally, who have taken risks for me, who have supported my growth, and um, allowed me to participate in professional development opportunities. Um, and just as importantly, my village and support system of friends, sisters of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, and my family. I am a transplant, and so I had to build my village here. Please stop. Thank you. I am honored to be named among my colleagues, and more importantly, to have my work and efforts recognized. This is affirmation that my work is purposeful. Um, so thank you to the Woodrick Center for Equity and Inclusion and for, the, um, for this award, and thank you to the selection committee. Thank you.
that will be great footage for when she wins a future award. <laughs> now we would like to hear from Dr. Excuse me, from Dr. Catherine Mullins, Vice President of College Advancement and Executive Director of the GRCC Foundation. Good afternoon. Let's give all of our honorees another round of applause. Today we've had the distinct pleasure of honoring an amazing group of women. They are strong, brilliant, and beautiful. And I am so grateful to be part of today's celebration. It was Jane Goodall who said, what you do makes a difference and you have to decide what kind of difference you want to make. Today's honorees and recipients have obviously made their decisions on what kind of difference they will make in our world and in our community. And our world is a better place for each and every one of these women. As the executive director of the GRCC Foundation, I am here today to make an important ask of each and every one of you. I am asking that you financially support and encourage women at GRCC. I know that if we as a community are going to encourage future female leaders, we must come together to support women in their quest for higher education. The easiest way for everyone in this room to do that is to make a donation to the GRCC Foundation in, in support of scholarships. This is a quote from Jennifer Buffett that truly hits home for me as to why your philanthropic support of scholarships is critical. The most radical way to advance meaningful change is to shift economic, social, and cultural power to those who don't have it. And that is why I support the advancement of education of women in this world that we live in today, in everything that is going on. We know that ultimately it is going to be the women in our community that nurture and raise up the next generation of leaders that will make sure that some of the injustices that we're seeing today will try to fix it. That's what women do, we fix things. And so I am asking you today to please donate to scholarships um, at GRCC through the Salute to Women Scholarship. And you are doing exactly that. You are advancing meaningful change by creating a structure of support in the form of scholarships that will allow women to pursue higher education and ultimately change the quality of life of our community and entire families. Scholarships remove financial barriers that often stand in the way as women pursue higher education. As scholarship donors, we have the ability to care for women in our community in a very personal way, in a way that provides hope and a promise for a brighter future for women and families. If you have been moved as much as I have today by the impact that GRCC has made in the lives of these women, and in, the and in turn, the impact these women have made in our community and will continue to make in our community, I ask that you donate to the Salute to Women Scholarship Fund. The power of meaningful change lays right there on your individual tables in the form of a donation envelope. Please take a minute to fill out the envelope and make a donation if you see fit. We will be collecting those envelopes at the end of today's, at the end of today's program and we thank you in advance for your support of the work that we do here at GRCC and of the, the women that are in this room. Sarah indicated she had someone, she had an elementary principal commit to a scholarship for her, knowing that that is how important women are in our community and educated women will raise us all up. So please um, make a donation today and thank you so much for being here in support of this wonderful program and these wonderful women. Have a good afternoon. I would like to thank Chef Luba, Baird, and team for their wonderful ATC hospitality. Let's give one more. <laughs> Let's give one more round of applause for all of our 2019 Salute to Women honorees.
We ask that you continue to enjoy the reception. There are food on both sides of the rooms. We will ask all honorees to come up to the stage for photo ops. Thank you. Thank you.